So let's see if we can solve this gas law problem here. So first off, what gas law do we want to use? The ideal gas law or the combined gas law? Let's take a look. We're looking for, we have moles. And usually when we have moles, we're thinking combined gas law. But let's see if we have an initial and a final condition. It looks like we don't have initial and a final. Nothing changes. So it can't be this. So it's not the combined gas law. For this problem, we're using the ideal gas law. Let's do it. So with PV equals NRT here, the pressure is in millimeters of mercury. We have a volume. We have moles. We can look R up. That's a constant. And the temperature. We're looking for temperature. So that's the variable we're trying to find. So let me put everything in the equation here. And here's the deal. Since we have millimeters of mercury here, we need to use a constant that has millimeters of mercury in the constant. So this is the one we would use. And often you're given a list of these for a test. If you didn't have millimeters of mercury, you would probably have to convert this to atmospheres so you could use a constant that you might be more familiar with that has atmospheres in it. So in this one, we're going to use millimeters of mercury, but you could convert this to atmospheres and use this value of R if you were more familiar with that. So let's divide both sides by this here. And that way, all of this, that cancels out. Let's get rid of that. So now we have millimeters of mercury in the top and the bottom. That cancels out. Liters cancels out. We have moles here, moles here. We're left with Kelvin. That's the temperature we're looking for. So we multiply these numbers here and then here, divide the numerator by the denominator. And our temperature, we get 71.2 Kelvin. And really, we probably should just have two significant digits here. Right now we have three, but we'll leave it like that for this problem. So the key here is if you have millimeters of mercury, make sure your value of R matches or convert these over to atmospheres and then use the more familiar value. There's a link in the description how to convert between units. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.